So I would usually not include in footage for early game, but Ravine's early was a bit tough and it's my first time actually beating Ravine Chimps, so have the early game footage. I could have afforded Azili by round 13, but it without a doubt will put me in a horrible position for round 14 and round 15, so I went with a second sniper. As usual with Azili early, you would go for your early game carry before getting Azili as her 14th to 16th levels don't matter, which makes the XP matter even less. And it's much easier to go for an early game carry before Azili rather than after since her early is extremely lacking. I decided to try to go for Sharpshooter early on this run because I've heard that it wasn't completely horrible here and I wasn't completely disappointed at it so it turned out fine. The crits possibly also helped with the post AD but I doubt it makes more of a difference than getting a better early and then having extra money for like Mauler. I decided to put Downdraft away from my jungle drums because the crowd control you get from Downdraft being under drums is much less than the damage you get for Ox being able to actually target his batteries, in this case spike balls instead of Downdraft. Spike balls mid game on Ravine. Not the first to use it, and definitely not gonna be the last to use it, but it holds the line well when Phoenix is down, and it's pretty good Super Sharam cleanup after AD, which is definitely what you need if Downdraft can't control everything due to the split map.
Now, even with the recent meme nerfs, nerfing its efficiency by around 33%, meme is still a very good support and a pretty solid save up tower as proven. It's still really good at BFB control, although it doesn't promise stun 3 BFBs, it only perma stuns the front BFB. And it's also good at mob control, which is really important with the Zeevee since he horribly dies to 84 without extra towers to help on 84. My defense was completely capable of beating 75 without Phoenix there, but I decided to use it r just before the round ends so I can control when it starts attacking during the start of 76 and I also don't have to press an extra button for the start of 76 since I will admit it was really close even with Phoenix and Bling. Round 81, 82, and 83 were all done with one take, which I find is extremely hilarious. Round 84, however, is quite a bit more complicated. I had to start the round with Azelion last as it spreads her dot much better than other targeting options. But then I had to switch to first because Exxon last is horrible and he's actually too good at spreading her DOT which breaks apart the BFPs and overruns my defense. And I needed to hold on for Phoenix for just a few seconds longer which sometimes makes me die as spike balls should not be used as your main DPS during save ups so yeah this was a really tricky round and then round 85, round 86 and round 87 were all done in one take again it's funny how like his Zui dominates 81, 82, 83 sort of 85, 86, 87 but then he horrendously dies to 84 The surround took a bit of RNG because I needed both ZOMGs to go on the same lane so MAME can stall them and Hex can be up at the start of the round, use it 
for the BFBs and MOAPs and then used again to finish up the zero MTEs. I also put my spike balls on a bad targeting there so it actually doesn't damage the zero MTEs which lets me stall long enough for hex. By some miracle this defense beats the 4 to 5 maps of 89 without hex starting which is really nice which means I get it up for the bottom side of round 89. This round was a little RNG, I just needed to guess where the second DDT was coming and then put my downdraft there but besides that, it's not the issue. Round 91 was a bit of a doozy due to how Ravine works, parking my downdraft on the right hand side somehow made the BFBs better for my defense to handle. And well, this round proves how much Azili's main attack actually adds to your defense as he managed to break down all of the BFBs on the left side, which means I get to have Hex up for the right side BFBs. Also, small thing there, I put my Maim on last intentionally so Hex can jump well with Spike Balls. If I put it on first, then Maim would just screw up the order of BFBs and Hex will jump really poorly. Superstorm is supported on round 92 and I did put it in range of Moabs this time, luckily, there's a bonus clip at the end for that, but again, all save ups end on round 92 and the save up is no different. Luckily with Village and Stem, Superstorm is able to reach all 4 lanes, the Moabs of all 4 lanes to be exact, and is good enough to handle late game. Also, the map shape of Ravine makes Superstorm extremely good against DDT rounds as it snipes the ever-living hell out of both sides of DDTs. Round 96 was a real issue as I was still naive and thought that around 28,000 left over was possible. It definitely is, but I am not going to go through that with all of the Superstorm RNG. So I decided to get a balloon impact on the right side as I noticed that I was dying to a rush of super straps as super storm cannot target it and an extra pop blast to make my life easier.
easily, round 100 would be quite difficult on Rubin, but I just bought those easy level 20 and got done with it. 